working on a map from publicly available files on where these escape corridors are from the 5G kill grid. Now, you might want to understand something. This is not my opinion. This is fact. And the ultra-rich have been building airfields and armored redoubts or fortresses in Kauai, Hawaii, Tasmania, Australia, and West Virginia, not to mention areas of northern Canada. And the funniest thing happened last week. I was already planning on either doing a short film or a long film on this and predicting the exodus you're going to see out of the cancer zones from 5G and the rest of it and how the establishment is going to respond to that. And then Friday I came in and there was a huge article that had been out since Thursday in the New York Times admitting all of this, but from the oblique, from an angle, the land where the Internet ends. Well, you know what this broadcast is all about? You know, I've been thinking. We told you about the world government and the collapse of the EU and the plan to attack the family and to, to attack the genders. And that's in movies I made 20 years ago and <clears throat> in game 11 years ago. And now the world government's out in the open and the surveillance grid is out in the open. Everything we told you, it's like, okay, I'll just already know that. Well, how, I was thinking, how about I start telling folks, like I did 20 years ago or 10 years ago, what's coming next? How about I start telling you all of that? Because, by the way, it's not my opinion that cell towers give you cancer. That's all admitted. I'll show you all the mainline government documents. But I want to explain something here. It's a lot worse than that. And so I thought, though, instead of just talking about what they're going to do to us, the way the globalists work metaphysically is they follow the rules of metaphysics. They have to give you an escape route. And they have to even tell you what they're doing, but then criticize it and make fun of it if you warn people. The vampire has to be asked to be let in, and then you have to let it in. So I'm going to do my best today at the start of the next hour to plunge directly into this. But I'm telling you, for anybody who wants to get together, I'm not saying I'm going to do this, but get together with real investors and real developers and go out to Wyoming, Montana, places like that, and buy enough land and get enough investors, enough people to move into the area to say that you don't want cell phones, you don't want cell towers, you want everything wired, that is going to be the biggest growth industry in the future because the cancer rates are just skyrocketing around the regular cell phones and now the 5G. It's just unbelievable. And the behavioral problems, the effect it has on the, on the central nervous system. Mm -hmm. I have a stack of Scientific American articles admitting that it causes brain damage and mind control. Here's a headline, mind control by cell phone. It's just, it's just all here. You're like, oh, that's like the movie The Kingsman. Yeah, but it's not a movie. Makes you irritable, breaks up your family, makes you all alone. Well, guess what? There's 14,000 square miles where the US government has made cell phones illegal. Oh, and they did it? 40 years ago. Oh, and guess where the elite lives? Oh.